So the Canadian Destroyer, great innovation, great finish. So I'm watching AEW, and somebody lands two of them. I think it was uh, Matt Jackson. Lands two of them, one in the ring, one on the floor. No pin, like no no finish. It's like it was like a nothing move. Do you have to look at the Canadian Destroyer and you're like, how is that not a finish? Like, first of all, people stealing the move left and right. Everybody does it. What are your thoughts on the Destroyer not only getting stolen so much, but they're not even using it as a finish? Um, yeah, I, I, that, that they should be used as finish. Um, but, you know, I mean, I, not my show, right? AEW is not my show. Right. Uh, <laughs> uh, so it's just it, – it's interesting because I remember um, – you know, back before they even allowed it on WWE, you know, uh, before like Adam Cole was doing it and, you know, Rey Mysterio, I think. I think Rey Mysterio was maybe the first one to do it on WWE TV with uh, Andrade. Like, I, I think they did something into the Destroyer. And, and then yep. I saw like, you know, John Morrison take it off the top from the Usos and stuff like that. And then now it's like the norm. But I remember like uh, back, like maybe in 2017, I was just, you know, driving. Uh, Joey Mercury just got, you know, uh, I don't know if he got released or quit from WWE and uh, we were, you know, going to a Tommy dreamer house, a hardcore show. And I asked him about it. I'm like, so, you know, cause I see a, a, at that point, all like NXT was like, you know, really big and stuff. And they were doing a lot of stuff that like reverse Ronas and stuff like the, um, you would never see it before those, those head type drops and stuff. And I asked Joey, I'm like, what, what do you think? You worked close with like Vince and stuff like that with a Canadian destroyer ever be possible. And he's like, you know, you probably just have to call it something else other than a pile driver, like a flipping something else. Um, they're just really against the the, the, the pile drivers there. Um, and then sure enough, you know, a few years later, they're doing it and I see it all the time. And at first I'd be like, hey, man, like it, it was really cool to me the first time Adam Cole did it. And they actually called it the Canadian Destroyer. They ca- they called it a springboard Canadian Destroyer off the off the second. Um, and I was like, oh, cool. I should have trademarked that a long time ago. But anyways, um, hmm. But then they switched it because they're like, oh, that's not a Canadian Destroyer. That's a uh, – I can't remember what he calls it, a Panama Sunrise. Um, yeah. But, yeah, just to see it, everybody – I mean, I've gotten to the point I'm okay with it. Like, everybody does it so much so that the wrestlers out there actually ruined it for themselves because now nobody wants to see it. And it's gotten to the point where I don't even have to complain anymore. But, like, I don't want to see it unless PD's doing it. And I'm like, huh, okay cool you know what i mean so um it doesn't matter to me it it really doesn't if they want to do it do it like you know when i'm like long dead and everybody listening to this is gone and we have a whole whole new generation and stuff like that there's gonna be some kid you know probably not even born yet that's gonna be doing the canadian destroyer on tv because i I don't believe wrestling will ever die um and you know i could be like hey you know that 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 that's the thing that I, i brought to the table that was the thing that I was able to, you know, get into, you know, on, on TV and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm good with that. It's crazy. Like Dustin Rhodes, who is one of the all time greats, but he does it. It's like, holy crap. Like everyone is taking your move. You don't have any, uh, any problem with it? No, no. I, I, I mean, at first, like, you know, I, the my, uh, producer on my podcast, uh, Dennis used to be like, Hey man, you should be more upset about this. And I'm like, Hey, don't you talk about how my emotions should be like, <laughs> I'm like, it's, it's fine. I'm like, I, I didn't care that people do it. Uh, I don't like when they switch the name it just because, you know, when, uh, I called it the Canadian destroyer. Like I, I did that because, you know, the, the name itself means something to me. Like when I first started indie wrestling, the first ever indie show that I was on, not wrestling, I was still training, but I did, uh, you know, security at the point at the time. Um, Doug Chevalier, the Canadian Destroyer, was his name. He had just passed away. He's the one that trained, you know, Scott Demore amongst, you know, a, a lot of others like Rhino and stuff like that. And then, you know, Scott trained me. So it's kind of like, you know, paying homage to him. So I wanted to put that name in there to just, you know, Doug's never really made it anywhere. He was an indie wrestler, but he was such a great guy. And I, I never got a chance to meet him, but everybody tells all these stories about him. Um, so I'm like, hey, this is this is like our, you know, wrestling lineage kind of like, let's let's have this carry on forever. So I was just more concerned about the name itself. The Canadian Destroyer, like, people are going to do it, and they're not going to think of Dustin Rhodes or whoever. They're going to they're gonna think of Pete. 